Hey, welcome back for day three. So today I actually have two different tech tools that I'm going to show you. Um, they kind of go together, so it just made sense to do them all together. I am going to show you, I'm going to show you the, um, completely had a brain freeze moment there. Okay, I was looking at what I was about to screen share and it got all, threw me off. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the teleprompter that I use. So if I'm recording a video, a lot of things I do off the fly, like this one, obviously, since I just completely had a brain freeze. But a lot of uh, the video content that I do, it gets a little detailed and technical. And so I wanna stay on track and not ramble. I love to talk. So that's always a casualty of a, a introverted extrovert who gets to visit with people <laughs> via video. I can get a little rambly. So I use a teleprompter to keep me on track when I'm doing dedicated scripts for my e-course content. So I wanna show you what I use for that. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. And here we go. So you can see up here, it's a little um, input here called teleprompter. You can get it from the Chrome web store. It's super easy to, to get plugged in and hyperlinked. Um, then I bring this up and it's not very pretty, I will admit, but it does the job and I really like it. So then all you have to do is paste your script in here for the video that you wanna record. So the way that I usually make my videos, it all starts with my topic. And if you've done my content cash flow training, you'll see this in there, but it all starts with my topic for the month. And then when I'm kind of breaking down what content I want to create, uh, we'll decide if I'm making video content for the month. If so, usually my newsletter feeds into that. So some of what I've already begun to create for my newsletter feeds into my video content. And then I'll begin to draft my script based on that topic or that need. So I do that in Google Docs, write out my whole script of what I wanna talk about, and then I would cut and paste it here. For today, the second tool I'm gonna to show you, uh, since I don't have a script that's already written, is a stock text generator. So also if I'm making websites or if I'm doing layout for something and I don't have the content ready and I need text filler, you can just come to a stock text generator and I'll link this for you. Um, you can kind of choose how many paragraphs or how many words you want. And it's just gonna give some basic text that doesn't say anything. It's just kind of Latin words here, but it's a good filler so that your mind's not distracted by content and you can focus on the layout. So I hate to keep plugging other courses of mine, but if you've done my website building course, we talk about this a lot because when you're doing layout for your website, you don't want to get too distracted by content. You're, you're laying out your site, you're figuring out where everything's going to go. But if you've got actual content in there, nine times out of 10, you're going to start tweaking content and, oh, I don't like that. Or, oh, that's not exactly what I meant to say. And it's going to distract you from getting done what you were trying to do, which was figure out your layout, put your placement of things. Usually we build content first, then we do layout, then we come in and we plug in our content. So you, you don't want to get distracted. So I talk about the stock text generator. So this is a great website to have. You can come grab it, come back over. I'm going to use that today to show you your script. Um, so we're back over to our cue prompter. You can decide if you want this to be narrow, wide, based on whatever device you're using. Sometimes if you're using a tablet, you want it a little more narrow. Um, you can choose your font size, big or small. And then if you want it, you know, on various different set colors. Once you have that, uh, you can start your prompter. What it's gonna do is it's gonna bring it right up here. So I use dual monitors. I usually have my recording window up on one side and then I've got my script right in front of me, right under the camera. And you can see that it came up with Latin here. I don't need to translate it. Um, and then if anything's wrong, you can kind of come in and begin to, to edit it if you need to. You've got your speed up here and then you've got reverse stop and forward. So basically what I wanna do, if I hit my space bar, you'll see it starts going. And if I need to slow it down, I'll just click something to go slower. So you wanna find a good rhythm so that you're not talking faster than it's scrolling because you obviously don't wanna to have to stop and pause while your, your script scrolls up. Uh, but at the same time, you don't want to be like scrambling to read everything really fast that's on the screen. Once you get used to using a teleprompter like this, it can be really game-changing for making videos because you can stay on topic, stay on task. 
It's right here in front of you. You're not looking down at a script and then looking back up or trying to remember notes. You can make good eye contact with the camera because everything that you're saying is flowing right up underneath the camera screen. So hopefully that's helpful for any of you guys that, that struggle with making video because you don't know what to say or you always feel like you have to make 10 cuts of something because you didn't do it right the first time. Take the time, draft a quick script in Google Docs, copy, paste it over, use a free online teleprompter and record and be done. Just move right on. I'll link both of those for today's tech video, the stock generator and the teleprompter, and tune back in tomorrow to see what we've got for day four.